Today, the weather and the setting are postcard quality for the 77th playing of the Rose Bowl game, matching the Iowa Hawkeyes of the Big Ten Conference and the Washington Huskies of the Pac-10. Hello again, everybody. Welcome to 1991 and a happy new year for all of you and for those Americans shaking hands with the uncertainties in the Middle East. We hope that your tour as peacemaker will be the easiest challenge you'll have all this coming year. Minnesota. There are some 40,000 faithful from the Pacific Northwest following the Huskies down for the ball game and almost 30,000 uh, coming in from the Middle West. The Bumblebees are in town. The Washington Huskies, the home team today, nine and two on the past season. They had losses at Colorado and at home in a stunning upset to UCLA. This is the fourth Rose Bowl game for the Huskies under coach Don James. Don is the dean of the Pac-10 coaches, 16 seasons at Washington. His teams have been to 11 postseason games in the past 12 years. He never had a losing season in the 80s. <laughs> Hayden Fry is now the dean of the Big Ten coaches. His record at Iowa, 90, 49, and 4. That makes him the winningest coach in Iowa history. Willie, 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 Willie. Blocked it. Huskies have it. Dana Hall. Touchdown. Andy Mason blocked it. First down. Matt Rogers, straight back, short drop, flat of his back, he goes. I mean, he is just flat planted by Mark Jones. Yards, 56 for Washington, only seven total yards in the first quarter for Iowa. Big 255-pound uh, bull at him all these times. It's going to slow him down. Here he goes again. It's touchdown, Iowa. to the parade didn't even know there was a game going on this is Greg Lewis he's out in the open does he have the speed number 13 gets him for the Hawkeyes it's nine games over 100 yards this year rushing on third and two they throw it's intercepted might go for six touchdown Charles Mincy Tony Stewart is the tailback. Got the ball. Pops out of the crowd. Ball rolling around on the ground. Huskies have the ball. Brunel still got it. He Third down and ten for the Hawkeyes. And he goes. Donald Jones. Third sack by the Husky defense. Let him throw the ball downfield on occasion, and he's doing it well here today. 103 to play, two timeouts remaining. Loops it up into the end zone. Touchdown, Huskies. Mario Bailey. <laughs> Going to get Tricia a longer letter. <laughs> Rogers getting some heat. 
And will go down. The ball is rolling around. It is academic. The time has expired if there is no flag and there isn't one. The half is over. And the Washington Huskies are in control of this 77th Rose Bowl game, 33 to 7. Bell stays. Rodgers turns it up. Touchdown, Hawkeye. Well, now, that's impressive. That shows you this team has some character. But then you know full well that a team that can go on the road and win at Michigan, at Michigan State, and at Illinois, they don't scare too easy. The 66th consecutive year. Goodyear blimps have flown over major sports events. Little pitch back on a flea flicker to Matt Rogers. His pass is intercepted by Charles Mincy. He threw it at four purple shirts. Risco started it. Mincy finished it for Washington. Third, about three and a half. Brunel wants to run it. Does. Has a first down. Has a touchdown. Three. 39 14 ball game as we run out of time here in the third quarter with the Washington Huskies in control. Look at that good looking fella. Brings up second. How about that? Stewart is the tailback. That's Hughes in motion. Rogers keeps it. Turns it. Touchdown. An onside kick coming. Huskies think so. They've got receivers and backs and defenders up there. There's your high bounce. Did it go 10? It did. It did. The <laughs> Iowa man leaned over and caught it as he fell out of bounds. Unbelievable. 5-15 to go in the ball game. First down at the Washington 20. This is Bell again. Got a hole. Good score. Touchdown, Hawkeye. From the 32-yard line, Brunel to the corner of the end zone. Bailey, touchdown. Ah, do you do. There's nothing fancy here. Here's Bailey. He's just going to run a streak. But the key thing here are these yard markers. Anytime you get in the 35-yard line, the defensive backs do not expect you to run a streak straight up the field. It's an excellent throw and a good call. Gary Pinkle, offensive coordinator, calling most all of the plays for the Huskies. Field and getting a good release on the passing game. I think it's a little tough to get your blocks if you're going to get a block on a defensive lineman. Rogers has got a man coming down the pipe. He's got a touchdown. Saunders. Crossing pattern in front of the goal post. Mark Saunders. play of the game for the Hawkeyes. Pressure coming. He gets his pass away. There's nobody there to catch it except the Husky, Tommy Smith. And Tommy comes back to the 25-yard line, and this one is in the books. Yeah, go, 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 go. 
battle, and now we hit a half a minute. Dave Burns in our stats, Todd Barry. Our spotter, Keith Jackson, Bob Greasy, and Jack Root. Bob Goodrich, our play. producer, the executive producer of uh, ABC Sports College Football is Jeffrey Mason. At the end of August, the East-West game. Uh, coming up later in January. But Don James... Coming across the field. To shake hands with Hayden Fry. They had a lot of fun the other day on Don's birthday. Hayden bought him a cake. Two fine gentlemen, two outstanding coaches, and two fine teams. 46-34 Huskies. 